Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. We're back with a canvas back drop. Um, this is my favorite one, obviously, all the canvases, the sparkly lights. And today I have for you guys my monthly favorites and disappointments. Now I will say the disappointments for this month, I think I've mentioned a couple of them in a previous videos or I've just told you guys that I didn't like the products in general, like in a review or in a video. But I decided to give them another try and try products again that I like I separate my products that like I don't like in a bin and then I go back and I'm like okay I'll give this one another shot or I'll just get rid of this one give it away to you know my aunt my mom stuff like that and I chose a few things from that basket that I always have and they definitely <laughs> it reassured me that they were disappointments so I'm just going to mention them for the last time okay so let's start off with the favorites like always we we start off with the good stuff and then you know we end on <laughs> on the not so good stuff but that's okay I have a few palettes now the palettes I have are palettes that I have been loving so so much so I'm going to start off with this one which was I feel like the star of July for me and it's the Col ColourPop Uh Huh Honey palette now this is a first palette like this that I try they're monochromatic palettes and of course I had to start off with the yellow because you guys know me and yellow um, and I loved it so much that I purchased three more so that's how much I love this palette. Like I truly, truly enjoyed it. I like the formula. I love that they included that pressed glitter, which they do state that it's not safe for the immediate eye area. So use it at your own risk. But I am wearing one of these style of glitters, these pressed glitters from ColourPop today. And they're just so stunning. And I would like to add that they do not like fall into your eyes they don't like fade or crumble into your eyes throughout the day which is something that I really like because if you're concerned about you know applying it next to your eyes I feel like uh, for the most part there's other glitters that I always end up with them down here throughout the day I feel like this is one that once you press it on and the best way to apply it for me which is how I feel that this is like the perfect way is with your finger because you're directly applying it and sticking it to your lid and once you like pat it on there it doesn't move it doesn't budge or anything so I feel like that's the best way to apply these glitters which brings me to my next palette which is this one from ColourPop as well and this is a complete gl pressed glitter palette this is called the thrill of it or thrill of it palette and it's only 20 bucks guys 20 bucks for these pressed glitters which are absolutely stunning look at that they're so so beautiful the one I'm wearing today is actually this one down here which I know it looks more like a kind of like a brown shade but the name of this specific color is let me see get lost <laughs> that's a nice name um, so that's the one I'm wearing today and I have really been enjoying doing any color in the crease like I did today and then just popping on glitter and on the lid and just bringing it up just a little pinch to the crease so that when you have your eyes open or at least when I have my eyes open you can still appreciate that glitter even through the lashes I'm going to tell you guys already I bought the orange one the green one and what's the other color oh the red one the watermelon one um so those are the ones i bought yes there will be monochromatic looks like the one i did for this uh, uh -huh honey palettes coming i'm just waiting for a few of the accessories the earrings that i want to pair with those palettes and those looks the next two palettes that i have because i feel like we've been talking about those for a while are these two from the brand you can be now these were sent to me by king beauty a while ago and i showed them in a haul and i don't i don't remember if i showed them in a tutorial but i've been using them a lot they're both of the ones that I'm wearing on my eyes today, I actually paired both of them. And that's how I like to use them because I feel like they complement each other so, so well. Since this one over here doesn't have that... Oh, see, I always get lost because of the monitor. This one has a cream shade and this one doesn't. So I feel like they just complement each other so, so perfectly. This is like my perfect everyday 
palettes if they were in one it would be perfect for me but i have them both so they're equally as good and they're super super inexpensive which is something that i love you can find these on king beauty you can be aliexpress amazon they have you can be all over the place so these are definitely amazing i really like the formula of them they blend so so beautifully they're incredibly pigmented they have very 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 minimal like minimal minimal fallout which is something that i appreciate in these palettes um they're not powdery they're they don't feel chalky they're super pigmented and i really have been enjoying them a lot they are definitely uh similar or dupes to the huda beauty palettes this one over here is dupe to the mauve obsessions and this one i can't remember exactly the name but i will put a picture right here so you guys can see what the dupe for this one is but yeah these are amazing love them and another palette that i have been really enjoying is this palette from ella mila and this brand is available at target it's a new brand available there this is a palette flirty goddess and what i like about this palette so much is that it includes a blush and a highlighter over here and then it has these six eyeshadows and there's a combination of matte and like shimmery satin shadows which is something that I love about this palette I know this is more of a fall vibes palette but I have been using it as a daily palette because of these two shades right here I mean it's like the perfect cream shade that I always look for for my brow bone and this is a perfect transition shade and I've been using this a lot to do looks like this uh, either with the glitter or a liquid eyeshadow that I have been pairing with this palette is the one from Pixie this one right here so I do these two colors this color all over the lid a little blended out to the crease and then I'll do one of these two shades because they're super pretty in the inner corner and then blush and highlighter from the palettes now this highlighter is a little bit darker than what I'm used to wearing in a gold shade but I feel like it gives me that beautiful like sun kiss um, gold glow for the summer it's so so perfect so I have really been enjoying this palette and again they are available at Target and back here they are cruelty free and vegan that is super amazing so if you're looking for vegan makeup this is a an, an amazing palette next is this palette that I have been really enjoying from Real Her and you guys know I love their products I talk about them all the time but that's truly because I really enjoy them this was sent to me from them um, to try out and I have not stopped using it i love this shade right here which is visionary which i think i mentioned in previous favorites that this is a color that I, ha that I was using a lot but now i have been obsessively using the color passionate which is this shade up here which is such a, a pretty peachy warm shade that i just think it's so perfect for for summer and this is a such a good palette that you can use like during spring use these pinky shades then use these for the summer and use these fall and winter they're just so so perfect I really like this palette I like that it has a big big mirror and the the packaging is nice sleek and chic so I really like that and this is a you are brilliant palette now i do have a code so you guys can save some cash if you would like to i always have that link down below and then another product from them that i have truly enjoyed is this highlighter which is what i'm wearing today look at that glow is it not popping or what or what <laughs> this is confidence in my glow and this is also from real her it's such a beautiful gold glow that it just makes you look sunkissed like like a really nice sunkissed glow i don't know how else to de describe it but that's the vibes this highlighter gives me also if you guys are wondering what's on my lips i am wearing i am tough from real her i mean i truly love their products guys i don't just wear them to be like you know i'm wearing them i actually wear them because i enjoy them and i think i mentioned this lipstick in may's favorites or last month's but this is a color I am tough I don't know why I have been so obsessed with wearing red lipstick lately and I know my eyes look more orange on screen like on camera on screen on camera I'm looking at the screen um, but in person it's more of a, a red shade more of a deeper tone because I use these colors from this palette over here the ones I showed you I use this deep 
red shade up here it's like a wine red shade and I know it <laughs> looks a little more orange but it is definitely a little bit more red so that's why I paired it with this red lipstick that I'm obsessed with their liquid lipstick formula is amazing it's now one of my favorites I have a couple of their colors and I love them all this red is super long lasting and I have eaten through this lipstick and it does not move or budge so that is a plus on that and then like I was saying their highlighter it's just amazing I feel like the today's glow just looks so nice and like a healthy beautiful popping ass glow so that's that another highlighter that I used a lot in the month of July which by the way guys am I the only one that feels like July went by like this literally I did not even feel it like it was 4th of July and we're in August I, I really feel like I don't usually say like, oh, this month went by super quick. This month, I feel like, Bitch. like it just, it left me and I didn't even realize when. So this next highlighter is from Pixi. This is the color Delicate Dew and it is one of my favorite highlighters from the drugstore. Pixi highlighters are so, so amazing. These weren't sent to me by her. Um, she does send me PR, but... These, I bought them with my own moolah. That is a color, both of the colors. I personally like to mix the colors together. That is how I, oh, do you guys see that glow? I That is how I like to wear this glow and I feel like it's the prettiest when I mix them together. You guys have seen, I literally just take my brush and go like this back and forth into both colors and then pop it on my cheeks. So this is another highlighter that I have really been enjoying. I kind of tried to stay away from it because I was using it nonstop like crazy. So for the month of July, I was like, you know what? I miss my baby. I need to, I need to get that one again. This Pixie liquid eyeshadow is in collaboration with Mary, Mariam NYC. Um, she, they did a collab at their, uh, collab collection is called Pixie Pretties. I picked up the liquid eyeshadow liquid lipstick set that she like created and this liquid eyeshadow ugh, guys I cannot believe how gorgeous it is well actually I can because I have two other of her of pixie liquid eyeshadows and I'm obsessed and th these are called fairy lights I feel like that's the cutest name ever but I have been wearing this in the past few videos and a lot of you have been asking and I have posted on Instagram this has been my go-to look with just with a that um this palette this has been my combo my go-to look it's just so so beautiful and it is so reflective so sparkly I feel like it it's kind of like a rose gold but it has like a gold green shift to it so so freaking pretty I definitely recommend this eyeshadow these are one of my favorite drugstore liquid eyeshadows and they are amazing now let's move on to lips because this video is already going crazy long I have a few new lip glosses that I have really been loving Alamar Cosmetics launched their Las Desnudas collection so they're nude liquid nude lip glosses not liquid lipsticks and I have the color Dulce now this is such a pretty nude gloss I really really like it and the thing about their lip glosses is that one side of the paddle is like a plastic or, or yeah it's kind of like plastic and the other side is a brush so you can get a really uh full uh, pigmented look and then on the brush side you can just blend it out so I really like that about this lip gloss it doesn't really smell like anything but it's a really really pretty nude shade this color looks it beautiful and then ColourPop So Juicy Pump Plumping Lip Gloss. I became obsessed with this that I ordered the clear gloss because I feel like this is such a pretty nude color but sometimes I do like I want a super super nude just with the gloss over um, and no no color in it and that's why I decided to order the clear one or when I'm out and I just have mascara just pop on some gloss that is perfect the tingling in this is more minty it's not really like tingly that it's irritating or it's burning no 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 none of that because I've had experience with that and it is insane this is just a very minty feeling on the lips it doesn't even really tingle so I really really like that about these uh so juicy plumping glosses and then last but not least the ultra glossy lip 
gloss in the color Champagne Mommy. I have been really loving it. Do you guys see how it has kind of like a duochrome, like a gold shift to it? It's so, so pretty. I love that this is a brush applicator, not a doe foot applicator. I don't know, it just applies the gloss so beautifully. And you guys can see it has a little bit of color right there. And it just the reflectiveness and glossy. Do you guys see that combination? Ugh, beautiful. Um, is amazing. So now let's move on to some disappointments. Now these, I would say, they're kind of like halfway disappointments. Because I'm still going to use them. I'm still going to use them up because it's what I have right now. But I hope you guys can recommend some good products uh, instead of these so I have three mascaras that I have been using and they crumble like crazy I don't know if it's my eyes I don't know what it is but these crumble like crazy at the end of the day I have a lot of black little specks down here and it's so so annoying so the Trustique mascara even though I do I mean I do like what they do for my lashes but I hate that they crumble which is why they're kind of like half a disappointment because like who wants to have all these black little dots at the end of the day? So the Trustique mascara that we got in BoxyCharm, actually all three of these I have gotten in BoxyCharm. Um, it Cosmetics Superhero Mascara. Again, they're good. It's just they crumble insanely. Uh, better than sex? This one is the worst offender <laughs> of all of them. This one crumbles insanely crazy like I like what it does the length the volume it gives to my lashes that it doesn't clump them together it separates them and it makes them look a little bit longer but the flaky and crumbliness on this is insane that sometimes I'm just like I'm just gonna wear it on days that I film so I can just use it up because I just don't want it to go to waste but you know it is disappointing that that is happening because they sometimes make me look like I got raccoon eyes under here. And then another product that is just a disappointment is the ELF Flawless Finish Foundation. This just did not work out for me. Um, I tried to like it. I tried it again and I tried to use other products. I tried to make my skin more matte. Um, it, it's just not a foundation for me. If you have dry skin, I feel like you're going to love this foundation because it gives kind of like a dewy look. But this one definitely doesn't give me the coverage that I personally like. And it also makes my face super oily, super quick. So that is why I'm just, I'm, <laughs> I'm done giving this want to try because it just doesn't work with my skin but it is a very pretty foundation again if you are a dry skin gal you're going to love that love that uh the elf pour poreless face primer i really wanted to like this i wanted it to be a dupe for um my benefit professional <laughs> definitely is not never forever um this is just like a silicone -y, like it feels more like a moisturizer than a primer um so i tried to apply a little bit i tried to apply a lot i tried to apply a medium amount i tried to set this with my powder and then go in with my foundation and it just does nothing to fill in my pores like absolutely nothing it just looks like i'm a greasy mess um after i use this and i gave it another shot and it, it just it did not work it did not help any of my foundations out so that's definitely a pass and that's basically it i hope you guys enjoyed this video thank you guys so so much so so much so so much <laughs> thank you guys so so much for watching i appreciate all your support and like always i will see you all in my next video bye i will see you all in my next video bye